Signals are one step ahead of us, but not for long. Repair the gate with- What's happening? I've heard strange stories about Her Holiness. Like what? Just rumors. But is it true? Did she make a secret alliance with the WTO? Her Holiness and Mr. Dumier are leaders of a secret society called the Illuminati. I don't understand. The woman you call Her Holiness is the daughter of the Illuminatus Beth Duclair. She founded the church after the collapse as a foothold to regaining power. But how could she support the WTO? She and Mr. Dumier knew that it would be too hard to pull together a global government from the chaos of the collapse. They chose to reinvent specific aspects of power and then bring them together later into one body. The scriptures, though, were they... A well-designed psychological tool. I grew up in post-collapse Hong Kong. My parents were Max Chen and Maggie Chow, co-spirators involved with MJ-12. I swore I would never ruin myself with lies the way they did. You aren't the one to blame. I've deceived millions, hundreds of millions of people. I... I'm such a fool. The Templars are one step ahead of us, but not for long. Repair the gates with the sequencing module. Find your long-lost older brother on the other side, then wait for my orders. Come to the tavern. I have more to tell you about JC's condition and why you are so important. Remember my advice, Alex. You will need it. The nine worlds you want me no. hey. thanks when you go to Antarctica and find JC remember what hangs in the balance I haven't told you just how powerful JC has become one of the other trainees Billy Adams has already gone to the gate she has signed her soul over to the Luddites the haters of technology Protect JC, or she could plunge the world into another dark age. Trust me, I was like her 20 years ago, and I still share some of the blame for triggering the collapse. I thought you said JC was powerful. He is, but the merger with the Helios AI has been problematic. He has fallen into a state of near catatonia and will be vulnerable until you can revive him. How do I do that? By transferring your biomod architecture to JC, you will complete his interface to the AI and bring him out of the coma. This is a job we intended for Paul, but now it falls on your shoulders. Paul Denton? He too is helpless and in need of our new systems. We thought we had the infusions perfected three years ago, but his body rejected them violently. He had to be cryogenically frozen until we could finish the design. The leader of the Cairo facility, captured by the Templars. Exactly. JC will tell you more. Please, don't delay. Every passing minute brings your friend Billy one step closer to murdering the only sincere leader humanity has ever had. Crazy oh, chick, tough break. Guard on duty here, you know. You're gonna be in Watch out! Trouble. I pulled the pin! Just a minute. I still got some more! I'll find the person responsible for this! Hang on.
too severe. Engaging accelerated science. I'll bet that your intruders are Billy Adams along with some Templar backup. After that, I have no idea what you're talking about. When JC arrived so many years ago, and the Versalite base fell silent, he took care of us. In return, we would maintain his habitat while he slept, and a way to also go his masterpiece. So we're the keys. The gate must use some sort of DNA fingerprinting. And since both Billy and I have Denton genetic code, we were able to use it. It was never about the training, was it? And the gate has only brought us destruction. The hateful ones threaten, capture, and murder us. We can neither fulfill our duties to JC, nor can we get to his habitat to awaken him. Why would the Templars bother with capture? I hate to be so blunt, but it seems that elimination would make more sense. It is not clear. It seems they are trying to learn more about us, but in gravely vicious ways. Right now, there is one of our number in captivity. Get the 
captured Gray that their leader was talking about. Save the poor creature, or the Templars will vivisect him to learn about the Gray's vulnerabilities. That's an... I don't know about you, Edward, but I'm starting to get concerned. We've lost... ...contact with the other bases and with headquarters. I think something terrible must have happened to the net, or maybe even to the world.
Genix. His research facilities where Vosalife developed many of those creatures. Sorry to say, the generator is at the back of the Templar? No. Who sent you? You look modified. Maybe I am. Well, don't think we're all fanatics about that stuff. You won't see me taking any mods, but, you know, to each his own. My unit got sent down here to see if we could find an unlock control for the Denton bunker. Figures we'd get jumped by a bunch of mutants. I'm the only one left. How'd you end up in there? One of those hippo things had me cornered. I panicked and locked myself up. Hey, think you could get me out of here? This lock shouldn't be too hard to pick. I know you probably didn't want to do that, but thanks. No problem. We have our differences. Maybe I care a little more about some things, purity of the soul and all that, but that doesn't mean we can't get along. Think you can find your way out? I got myself in here, didn't I? Good luck. Yeah, I can find my way out.
Surgical restoration in progress. Finished repairing damage. We're running out of energy here, so we're all going to have to make some sacrifices. Survival first. We can't justify diverting our resources to any of our experiments anymore. Namely, I think it may finally be time to stop the food supply to the Greys. Find your way home. We are alert now. Exactly what they've all told you, but you're just a pawn, and reviving an ancient mad cyborg isn't going to help anyone. And you found that the Templars are a sane and reasonable employer? Lesser of the evils offered at this point. The other entities all want you to revive the man responsible for the collapse. What good can that possibly accomplish? Apostle Corps wants to worship him, and the Illuminati wants to try to control him. And what would you propose? The only safe way to deal with such dangerous power and such an unstable individual is to destroy him. It's the only way. That's an interesting viewpoint, especially considering JC's work made us both what we are today. That hardly matters in the grand scheme of things. You can try, but you're not going to be able to stop me from repurposing the Helios Core for more beneficial purposes. What do you think, Savon's plan? Oh no, Titan! You will contaminate humanity no more, you fiend! Uh. 
I think I just saw something. Or someone. What were they thinking? By the snow of Sidon! Just go ahead and try something. JC, you'll have to repair Helios' five processing modules with an infusion of- Alex Denton, welcome to your brother's sanctuary. My assignment is to answer your questions. It's getting to be quite a crowd down here for an impregnable fortress. You were looking for JC Denton too? I left Hong Kong in 2052 with instructions to search for JC Denton near Groom Lake in Nevada. I am an AI construct developed by Tracer Tong. He isn't exactly safe with my former classmate Billy Adams skulking around. She went over to the Templars. Billy Adams must be destroyed. If she damages the Helios core, she will destroy JC's mind. She was always a prankster. When you have eliminated the threat and spoken to JC, go outside to the abandoned First Life base. I see that you have already turned on the pilot beacon. Bye, JC. You'll have to repair Helios's five processing modules with an infusion of your biomod architecture. Prepare yourself for the unexpected, Alex. JC is conscious, but trapped in a struggle with the Helios AI. His memory is so intermingled with the AI that echoes of his former life are embedded in the very construction of this sanctuary. But how? Upon the arrival of the key, JC was to be awakened to welcome the perfected genetic code. Then he and Paul were to share it with the world. What needs to be done? Activate the nodes. Reconnect him with the waking. But beware. The other key has made her own plans. What do you mean? She has machines. Weapons. She has hate. Look at this fun house. I guess it's some sort of architectural photo album. This room is from Hong Kong, where J.C. Denton went into hiding for a while. Talk about ego. Is this what you want to bring about? The whole world recreated in his image? Yes. 
excellent work, Alex. Repair this tower of Babel, and just when the king reaches out to touch the sky, we will be there to snatch his hand away. finding the way in here. All I had to do was follow in your footsteps, and now I'm just minutes away from completing my objective. Just walk away, Billy. I'm here to awaken JC. Don't let Apostle Corps or the Illuminati use you as a pawn. One wants to worship JC, and the other wants to try to control him. Neither group can see he's too mad and too powerful for either. I can't let you do that. I'll kill you if I have to. So this is how it ends? Okay. I'm ready, but I don't think you are. You may have dealt with SSC or even armored Templars before, but you've never taken on a true equal or a friend. But I guess you're just as crazy as the rest of them. This shouldn't take. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh. J.C. Denton. What happened to your brother? He nearly died two years ago. My chief scientist, Tracer Tong, thought that he'd perfected the biomod substrate, but there were recombinant anomalies in Paul. He had to be cryogenically frozen to save his life. Luckily, you and the other subjects at last accepted complete transformation. Which is why we can pass through the gate and enter this place. That, and much more. We're now ready to transform the human race. It became clear to me after the defeat of MJ-12 that the old answers to tyranny are inadequate. I needed the Helios merger in order to contemplate the problem effectively. And? I'm going to establish the first post-human civilization, and you're my first citizen. Welcome. A new civilization? That's a pretty tall order. What do you need from me? I need you to return to Cairo to rescue my brother Paul, who was seized by the Templars. Then meet me at Liberty Island, where in the ruins of an old military base there is an Aquinas node that can be used to distribute the infusion technology worldwide. Tell me more about this post-human civilization. Before the disruptions, Helios and I had many months of productive thought. Up to now, all free societies have started with one premise. Human nature is cruel, unjust, a force to be controlled. I follow you so far. 
The separation of powers from Aristotle to Montesquieu is designed purely to thwart the ambitions of individuals. How comical the West pride in its vast tangle of agencies, jurisdictions, arcane procedures. What's the alternative? Address the flaws in human nature. Make all beings truly equal in both body and mind. If you start with minds that are lucid, knowledgeable, and emotionally sound, the needs of government change dramatically. How do you control human emotions? Antidepressants? Is that freedom? Is it freedom when one child is born to poverty, a chance combination of organic materials, while the wealthy child is shaped every day of his life, enhanced genetically, trained, educated, often augmented nanotechnologically? Why not get rid of nanotech and genetic engineering, the technologies that make people different from each other? Then you go down the path of intolerance, as your friend Billy did. Is human nature perfect? No. Therefore, improvements are to be welcomed, not annihilated in Templar pogroms. As enhanced beings, we can establish a pure democracy that runs on instantaneous input from the electorate. What would this pure democracy look like? The Helios AI has the processing power to handle all governmental functions worldwide, legislative, executive, and judicial. Once every mind has been enhanced and can merge with the AI, attitudes towards major legislation can be processed on a daily or even more frequent basis. You want everyone to be like the Omar and meld themselves together into one huge AI construct? Helios will communicate, not assimilate. Life will go on as usual. Helios is starting to sound like an enlightened despot. All governments have power. The benefit of giving this power to a synthetic intellect is that human affairs would no longer need to be ruled by generalities. Helios will have a deep understanding of every person's life and opinions. What if I don't want someone peeking into my mind? Upon consideration, you'll see that this arrangement is for the best. General ideas are no proof of the strength, but rather of the insufficiency of the human intellect. The words of Alexis de Tocqueville, an observer of the birth of modern democracy. Though general ideas allow human minds to make judgments quickly, they are necessarily incomplete. So? So de Tocqueville noted that an all-knowing mind, the mind of God as he conceived it, would have no need for general ideas. It would understand every individual in detail and at a glance. Incomplete applications of law or justice would be impossible for such a mind. So you see yourself as a god? I want human affairs to be driven by wisdom. Finding the correct recipe for wisdom has been my project these long years under the ice. You seem to think you've succeeded. Wisdom must first be human. You must start with what a human sees and feels. But wisdom must also be knowledgeable, logical, and fair to billions of other beings. How much of you is a machine? Helios and I are one consciousness. No distinction is possible. You expect 10 billion people to submit to the rule of a software construct? What if some of them resist? The people will welcome true equality. Help me, Alex. You've come this far toward restoring Apostle Corps. Finish the job by rescuing my brother from the Templars in Cairo. I'll leave for Cairo as soon as I can. A helicopter followed you here. Tracer Tong sent it to pick me up from Area 51 after my infiltration of MJ-12. Ava Johnson was the pilot and AI construct. I'm putting her at your disposal. Go back to the... Yes. Merging. Merging. Find me near the entrance to the sanctuary. I have so much to tell you. Alex Denton. How does it feel to share such an infamous name? Don't be deluded by the AI's ingenuity. Your brother JC has long since been devoured by the Helios core. And if you revive Paul, you will be reviving a swan terrorist. There is a better way. More when you reach Cairo.